and you've been so good and so consistent with posting every day and you've got such great ideas on topics i've so, been, been yeah, watching some of your videos on um well it's one of my wish list bags so i kind of been been watching all your videos related to that bag and i'm just like oh, <laughs> oh. Awesome. That, that's awesome. Oh, thank you. I always watch your channels yeah. too, of course. <laughs> okay, thank you. So if you are here, say hi to Jesse. Do leave us a comment. So we, of course, we have slides, but today's slides is a little different. Usually we will share the deck around, but this time I thought, because mm, I'm, I'm controlling the deck. <laughs> mm. I decided not to share Jesse's hot picks for 20 24 to Amy and Amy has some picks and I did not share that to Jesse so it is really first time for both of them to see each other slides and Jesse only knows one of my bags but she doesn't know another bag so we're kind of like just having really a real time chit chat about handbags that are going to that we kind of think are going to be popular for this year, so 2024. So do chime in, do let us know your thoughts as well. If you've got any bags that you think is going to be hot for 2024, please do comment and then comment on the bags that we think so. So without further ado, let's go. Uh, let me just pop the deck out. Okay, okay. So yes, we're going to talk about hot bag trends for 2024. But before we get started, <laughs> we have the calendar, but however, oh my gosh, we totally forgot. Well, at, yeah, forgot that it's about time. Okay, it's about time to shift the clocks again. <laughs> and uh, daylight saving starts ne next week. Is that right, Amy? It's actually this Sunday for us, right. but it'll it'll affect our next week and the the shows that are going forward until november again <laughs> yeah, so, so yeah i know March it's november. one of those things that has to happen twice a year <laughs> <laughs> we gotta follow the world clock okay so um i will then obviously maybe after today we will repost our calendar just to yeah. say that you know it's daylight savings but next next week so the, this regular live we call this the weekend regular live um for us here in Asia, we're going to move back an hour, which mm -hmm. I think is great because, you know, it's 12, 12 to 2, maybe lunchtime, but then now it's going to be 11 to 1. You guys over your site, um, no shift to you, yeah. right? So it's still the 8 to 10. Then we have the extra members live, which has already been shifted to earlier in Singapore because I have an, uh, an uh, even afternoon appointment, a mm -hmm. class. So there's no change to us. It's still 8 to 9.30 in the morning but there will be a shift to all of you. You're actually going forward, yeah. right? An right. hour. So it's five instead of uh, four. Yeah. So anyway, just follow us <laughs> on our <laughs> on our IG and then follow us on our YouTube. We'll put uh, notifications, yeah. but do note that there's going to be a shift starting next week's regular live. Mm -hmm. And then oh, <laughs> so many shifts. Oh my goodness. And then in April, we've got pretty excited for this yeah. but gps is joining us again on amy's channel oh. and because he lives in like oh, he, the lives other in, he, he actually moves around right he's either yeah, in yeah. amsterdam or in new york city but in april he's still gonna be in amsterdam so our schedule is literally all over the place because you're in asia oh. which is you're like 15 you're 16 hours ahead of us you'll be 15 starting next week I'm yes. nine hours behind him. So he's nine yes. hours ahead of me. So we're all like three extremes. That's why it's going to be, we did Next figure it out. But yeah. April is going to be a one, one interesting timing. So for yeah. us, we're not shifting. Okay. So we're sort of, we're going to that. Tw Singapore is going to be 12 to two. Amy, you're just going to go back. Yours is going to be what? Uh, uh, is it nine? So yeah, ours will be from 9 to 11 for his episode only. For his episode yeah, only. Yeah, one episode only. Yeah. And bless him, he's going to wake up a little earlier for that <laughs> live. But he's only going to join us like for one hour. So yeah. please join us. He's going to be waking up like 7 a.m. just to be for that live. So <laughs> yeah. come and join us and support it because, yeah, three different parts of the world, no. literally like a triangle. Yep. 
he's joining us to chit chat so yeah <laughs> that's coming up in april please do look at the calendar and that's not all the administrative things that we got to get out of the way and let's get into the slides <laughs> all right well let i think we'll let jess we'll let you go first and then amy you can chime in since you've not seen it then i'll add okay. my little two cents awesome well hello everybody welcome so I just made up a few little pictures of what I think are going to be really hot bags this year. And of course, you know, Celeron, very popular brand. Prices are still reasonable for luxury, I would say. You've got this Calypso bag, which I had I didn't, wasn't familiar with, but I just went on the Celeron website recently and I noticed this bag in the new arrival section. And I thought it was quite interesting because it has this soft, grainy leather quite large that slouchy vibe price point is not too bad either it's a grained lamb skin so i thought it could be a nice alternative to like a nikki bag or something like that it's a little bit more elevated and then i recently did a video on taylor swift's handbags and um, she actually has this la 5 a7 supple hobo bag um, she has like a tan one so I thought mm. this might also be a pretty hot bag of the year because of the hobo shape, which apparently is coming back in fashion. And yeah, the price is not too bad for a luxury bag. But yeah, what do you guys think? Okay, it's interesting I'm seeing this live because, well, Kat knows my selection. So <laughs> I... <laughs> I actually picked, so these are just our own predictions, right? Like I have no idea if whatever I predicted will end up being hot bags of the year, but I just sort of like kind of have a guess by just looking around and just seeing what's going on. So the the one on the right, right? Le Saint Cassette Hobo Bag. I also predicted that one in the larger, slightly larger size than the model is carrying only yeah. because I feel like, uh, just like your example on the left, like larger bags have definitely been back. They are, they've never been gone, I guess, but you know, mini bags have really had its moment and then nano bags. So I feel like people have been also not going out during the pandemic, right? So I feel like now that everything's back to normal, everyone's really carrying a lot more in their kitchen sink. And also, like you said, YSL has always been a good price point. And so, yeah, I have to agree with you. In fact, I've never seen the one on the left, the Calypso. That looks really cute. It actually reminds me of the Chanel 19, the way yeah. I see it. Yeah. Agree. But I think it's good because you can make it shoulder as well, which right. makes it a bit more versatile. Right. And it's, you know, nowhere near the price of Chanel 19 it currently yeah. is, which is nice. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I like I it. I really... I've always liked YSL for an alternative, especially if you're not really worried about resale value, the brand not being just like the top three. Um, I honestly think YSL has always been a great alternative and they make really good, good looking bags. So, mm. Are you guys still into the YSL logo or do you think you're kind of over it? Because I think that's the only thing about Celeron bags. They right. always have the same like logo in the center and i feel like you go through phases well i don't know for me i was ne i never really was gravitated towards it i always liked the more like sac de jour or just like you know the plain tote as opposed to the the logo and i i don't know if you don't like that logo i think that's the only bad thing about celeron a lot of their bags kind of look very similar in in that way mm. i never minded it hmm. yeah i actually yeah. like the logo i think the logo is is iconic and because their their bag's not too busy right they don't have quills they don't have you know mm. much going on for it so the logo is that accessory so i actually like the logo yeah just gives it something mm. yeah 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 well i'm gonna add my two cents so this bag on the left like amy i've not seen it before the one on the right we have actually talked about it a few mm -hmm. i think a several lives ago and i i remember saying oh my god i'm obsessed with it because i i thought it looked so it, there's something about this hobo style and it just looks it just looks so sophisticated and like cool um mm. i've actually tried this i've actually tried this size so i'm not sure this is like the medium and i mean i love the look of the bag the only thing that i'm not sure about 
which, you know, we're talking about back trends anyway. The trend definitely 100% this kind of hobo style. But in terms of function, that little YSL, that L yeah. part, right? It's got a hook inside that little oh. tab oh, at the yeah. bottom. It's like, yeah, so it's kind I mean, you may not even close the bag, so it's not a big deal. But if you want it to like hook it, you got to, you know, you got to like, go through this little little hole which you know if you're in a rush it's going to be a pain yeah but yeah uh, other than that i love this bag <laughs> as yeah. for the left side this big one it reminds you uh amy it reminds you of the 19 it actually reminds me of the chanel maxi maxi bag you know oh, the that one. too yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. like the one that the travel one because i mean maybe this model is real i mean she's probably like stick thin because it looks so large on her but it kind of gives me that vibe right so like if you don't want to buy chanel because you can't afford it you can't even find it right because it's so popular yeah this is this is a great alternative i think so too and i think uh with these bags they're things that you don't have to like baby they kind of look good when they're worn in as well and i think a lot of people are going for that vibe lately mm. Mm -hmm. i agree great Pick, great pick. Okay, next bag. What? Okay, first, I'm going to stop and I'm going to ask, what do all of you think? Please comment mm. as well as we go through it. All right. Gucci. Uh, yes. Well, I did see these on uh, Sabato DeSano's. I think that's his name, his first runway show for Gucci. And this one on the, the left, the Lucy bag, it really gave me like throwback Gucci vibes. It's kind of like a vintage look. And yeah, I don't know if I love it, but I do think that it's a little bit more classic looking compared to maybe the Marmot and all those bags that we're seeing uh, the last few years. It's kind of going back to their, you know, heritage in a way. And I thought the turn lock in the front was kind of interesting too, a little bit more subtle, almost looks like you know the chanel mademoiselle turn lock or something um but yeah i just thought because it's monogram this might do really well you never know and then on the right we have the jackie bag which has actually been trending for quite some time but they've actually um updated the clasp and they've changed it to be like a little hook and i know i think uh well it's predicted that red is going to be a big you know, color trend of the year as well. So I think this particular dark red will do quite well. And the mini size is quite cute. Although, you know, we're saying we love the the big bag trend. I think a lot of people still love that little quirky mini bag. So mm -hmm. it's classic, but it's, you know, cute. And yeah, price is pretty expensive though. Like 5,720 Australian for that little Jackie. It's pretty, the uh, Gucci, I don't know. I, I was a little bit shocked, but yeah, it's everything's gone up in price. Mm. It is, it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna go first. So yeah, I I was shocked at the price seeing this slide. Um yeah. I was I was thinking that I was gonna add one more Gucci to my slides. In the end, I did not, just because I don't know. I feel like Gucci has always been like that. They they will go viral for a little bit and then they will be like everyone would forget about it, which is why yeah. I personally did not add any Gucci items and looking at these two bags and judging only these two right like there are already elements that i'm looking and i'm like oh it's gonna annoy me <laughs> yeah <laughs> like on the the chain on the right one on the jackie that already i mean i think it's pretty but over the long term it's just something that i don't i don't know i don't like it just solid chain i like it if it has like a leather inside so mm. it makes it less noisy and right, yeah. I find it more comfortable also. So that's something that I always think about and that I feel like I know they'll continue to do on bags. But for me personally, it's something that I will, for me, it won't be a longevity bag. It will be something that I will, if I ever buy it, I'll get tired of it quickly. On the yeah. one on the left, I, I like a nice monogram moment, actually. Um, I like that it's a clutch size. So it's kind of cool that way um but yeah i just don't see any longevity I, that's not, that's the only problem <laughs> mm. Mm. i should have added as well they actually do this uh lucy bag in the alternative monogram it's more like a cool tone monogram oh, i don't okay. know if you guys have seen there's like a warm tone and a cool tone yeah so mm. that might make it more um appeal to different people because you know some people don't like louis vuitton monogram because of the 
tone of brown so they're kind of offering different color tones of the monogram but yeah i don't know yeah what do you think Kat? I, think, I think the jackie bag is going to be really popular it is popular but it's going to be really popular this year and i'm not a fan of gucci i've always said that it but and that but but i feel like this is all gucci when when uh tom, was it tom ford tom ford mm. was the guy right he was the designer yeah. and then later it was somebody else and then i think after that it was this ls yeah. sorry i don't know how to pronounce the yeah. name That's okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah that guy that guy that yeah. like Alexander, totally yeah. created a lot of crazy designs but obviously he brought a different vibe to gucci and it made a lot of other brands also become more um fun right because they be became a little bit more adventurous really crazy designs crazy colors weird jackets i mean he definitely did that and yeah. that was when i totally like okay that's it <laughs> i cannot stand gucci but the gucci before that was really sexy right it was sexy it was mysterious very smoky very sultry i feel like a little of that vibe is coming back and so i'm very i'm open to it i'm I'm excited to see in this bag on the left side, this clutch size, this mm. baguette is definitely trending now. Yeah, this it is kind like of a baguette, kind of, yeah. East-West mm. size. Even I'm like, you know, obsessing on East-West kind of bags. Mm. It wasn't a Same. thing for me, but now I'm like, maybe the more I see it, like the Dior, uh, Lady, the Lady Dior with East-West and then now yeah. LV and then now Gucci's doing East-West. I'm like, <laughs> maybe yeah, we need an East-West bag. <laughs> So I like it. I like it and I like the class. Um, just a more subtle because monogram is already very loud. The, yeah. the Jackie bag, I agree. Trendy definitely this year, but I'm just not a fan of the clasp. That um, this kind of big hook kind of yeah. clasp. Mm -hmm. Why I don't like it is that um, it reminds me of this... Oh gosh, I, I cannot I remember the one. Rebecca Minkoff. Rebecca Minkoff. Oh, thank yeah. you. That's true. Yeah. It reminds me yeah. of Rebecca Minkoff. So it does doesn't do it for me. However, as a trendy bag, definitely very trendy, big hook, easy to get in and out, that kind of stuff. But from a from that price, five thousand seven hundred twenty, I, I don't like yeah. a lot. <laughs> I just think of that. It does look like Rebecca Minkoff. I totally forgot. <laughs> right uh, those big yeah mm. of those two for sure if i were to buy one i'd buy the lucy i, I really do like the the shape a lot yeah, and i just beautiful. noticed the strap i just know that notice that the strap has the three the the two tone the red and the green as well so yeah. i really like that about it because that's what gucci is sort sort of known for as well um their yeah. web strap with the two-tone color so I yeah. like that you can remove it uh, all together or you can mm. also wear it to, uh, as a um, shoulder bag. So I quite like the Lucy, actually. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, let's go on. Let's hear from the audience as well. Do you think about this bag? And oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that <Yes>. looks weird. <laughs> uh, should we see what the what is the audience talking about? Okay, let's take a look. Hang on. Let me just see what everybody's saying. Okay, let's go to the top first. Everybody's, we'll, we'll answer questions later, but let's see who's... Okay. Uh, oh, Chris says she's a fan of YSL. Um, oh, okay. So, Joe, yeah, I saw this bag. Thanks, Joe. So, this is the low... There's a low-key... It's called the LV Low-Key Hobo Bag. It looks very similar to the YSL. Yep. Le yep. Five. Uh, how do you pronounce it? Lefive? I don't know. I, I'm like, that's a very complicated name. Le 5A7? Le 5A7. <laughs> Le 5A7. Oh, so 5 to... 5 set in French, like the expression is like our happy hour. Like at, right after work, you go for a beer. Uh, so that's what we say. Uh, cinq, like, let's go for 5 set. So it's wow. they call cinq it set. the... Oh, yeah, happy hour. 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six set, so le cinq à set. Right, uh, like a so like a happy hour bag. Yeah. Oh, it makes Maybe. sense. Yeah. 
Okay, Clara <laughs> says that I'm okay with it as long as the L, so that bag doesn't scratch me. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. Mm. Okay, Lamis says that looks like Hobo Jackie. It's cute. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll answer yeah, the rest. A lot of brands that do a, like a hobo silhouette. I think everyone's doing it at the moment. Okay. All right. I was talking about QBs. Okay. So okay. we'll go. Not a fan. Julie, Julie saying not a fan of YSL and Gucci. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, there's a lot of options these days. You gotta love it to buy it. Okay, so coming into Hermes, uh, Joe's like not in red and green, but in any color would be right for me. Clara oh. doesn't like tone on tone. It looks plasticky. Yeah. Mm. Get oh oh, it's kind of like low key. Okay, fine. Tone on tone is kind of like low key. Yeah. Julie's also not tone on tone. Oh, interesting. But you know, okay, I do okay. have to make this observation. I feel like whenever we see something kind of new, it takes a while to like it. Like sometimes you will like it right away because that's just how you like things. But if it's really, really too out of the box and it's too new, you may not like it at first, but the more you see it, you will like it. So this is just the first time, right? Like, or one of the first times we're seeing the tone on tone on the console. For me, the first impression is like, oh, it looks weird. But mm. I may not dislike it right away. Like for me, I'm like, oh, maybe if I see enough of it or maybe in a different color, in the right color, it might work, right? So yeah, always be open to it. I, I guess that's what I always say. Yeah agree it's like any new style like sometimes people hate it when it first comes out and then it goes viral so yeah. you never know <laughs> but i think actually the name of this constant is called monotone but i didn't figure that out until after i made this slide um mm. but to me it looks like lego blocks which i think is kind of cute but i would also say that the benefit of the leather colored logo is that you don't have the issue of the scratching which i know a lot of people complain about with the hardware although i'm not sure how the leather would wear um on the logo you know how sometimes you see other brands do leather covered logo and it kind of like kind of scratches off or it peels and i don't know i assume that hermes would have crafted this in a way that it would last but that could be an issue i'm not too sure um but for me i i personally quite like how it's a little bit more subtle and yeah you can see the age but it's a little bit more blended in um i i actually don't mind the green or the red uh but i think it will obviously come in like you know probably like the the rouge h color and probably black and more neutral colors as well but um i don't i don't know if i would prefer it over like a regular buckle mm. constants or mm. like if i if i was for example offered the monotone or the like in black or the like a palladium hardware in black what would i choose um i i don't know i think sometimes it would depend on the combination as well of the leather yeah i'm not too sure i'm kind of on the fence about it but i i think it's interesting i don't mind it mm. i think for me the constance tone on tone would look absolutely stunning in silver like silver leather metallic leather oh yeah that would look quite cool yeah or gold i guess but you know something mm. metallic i feel like would really suit this style yeah because then the, the finish would be quite out there so you need yeah. to like kind of subtle it down with the hardware mm. maybe yeah that's nice um i'm not sure what do you reckon cat <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay, it's giving me like um because it's all leather, right? And yes, there's a little bit of hardware on the strap, but it mm. it is giving me just those leather pure leather houses kind of look like um like Bottega. You know, it's the whole yeah. bag's all leather, so you just see one full color, which is very attractive, right? If you carry the whole uh intricato hobo bag, it's just leather. There's no little bit of silver there's no little bit of gold nothing mm. and it's quite attractive so i agree you just need a little bit of time to accept that it's just all leather right even there's a little bit of hardware but you know from first view it's just one slab of leather and one tone so i i'm yeah i'm not sure 
I'm not mm. sure. Maybe maybe it's the color. I, I like green, but I feel like it's just so green. <laughs> Super green, yeah. <laughs> and, it's yeah. Like, and then the other one's like just red. This green, if it had like gold hardware or palladium, or is it just the green? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it's just the green. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's too bright. <laughs> yeah. But you know, if it was one slab of black, it might look that good. Look cool, I thought. But it yeah, but I agree. You know, if it's whole bags metallic, like whole gold or gold or silver or some maybe metallic. Yeah. Maybe metallic would be interesting. Maybe what about like light pink? Like it's just all pastel pink, like the whole oh, thing. That would like be a, pretty, yeah. Like that, a little yeah, I think the color color. is gonna be important for this. Yeah, uh, I think so. monotone. Yeah, and you've got a good point because Hermes do really nice hardware, so it's almost a shame to cover it in a way because it's always a really nice detail, like you know, with the Birkin and the Cali. The main feature is like you know mm. that little bit of hardware. So, and that is a main feature of a Constance, but I guess it's just like. Yeah, new idea. Mm. Um, anyways, and then on the right, I have the East West or the Shoulder Birkin. Um, so they're going to release it in a size 29 size. So, but it's going to be like, I suppose, like, you know, a Birkin 30 is quite wide, but this one is going to be the, the height is going to be less. So it's got that East West silhouette again. Um, and it, it's a little bit smaller in proportion. So I thought it was quite nice. Um, on the runway, they had it in more neutral colours. So as you can see, like the rouge H and the, the black, potentially like, um, you know, etoupe. Um, but I, I'm curious to see if they make this more of like a permanent uh, bag that they release and if they'll do more funky colours of it. Because I know the most recent runway show was a lot of neutrals. Um, but yeah, well, do you guys prefer this silhouette for the Birkin? Like, or is it something you wouldn't like buy because, you know, obviously a Birkin's <laughs> very expensive. So would you rather like get another Birkin 25 or would you add this kind of silhouette into your collection? Because I think it's kind of cool, but um, I would probably prefer a Birkin 25 if I had the option. But if you're a collector, you might want to add this one, I, I thought. I yeah. would. That's... I actually like this. This me too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like it. You know, it's giving me like my um. When I was in school, there was this shape as well. Many years ago, right? Twenty years ago, this kind of like um, Toblerone shape is actually mm. very. It's it's cool, right? It's cool, and you don't really need such a tall bag. Just it's yeah, it's, it's just enough. It so... actually might be more. Versatile, oh, but then I'm thinking if you wear it open, does that mean it's gonna be the opening's gonna be too big? Do you know what I mean? Like, and then it's gonna like stuff is just gonna fall out. I guess it. Yeah, I guess it depends it's on how out. how much you fill it. I the reason why I like it, it's 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 kind of novelty for sure. And I agree with you. If I had the chance to get between this and a Birkin Twenty Five, I'd get another Birkin Twenty Five, no questions. However, if I had any extra money set on the side that it's really, there's like, I can just buy anything I want. I think this is quite interesting because I've always liked the idea of the bigger handle on the Birkin 30, but I don't like that yeah. the bag is so big. And mm. I honestly don't need that size bag to be, to be honest, yeah. right? And it's quite heavy for me. So having this shortened, because this is 29, right? So it's basically 30 yeah but shorter and it's cute look it, like i mean it's just yeah. that novelty that i am attracted to because the broken 30 is quite luggage look it's quite big yeah to me yeah on my frame and i also don't need that size bag to be honest um so i think this would be interesting whether things would fall out and all that stuff i guess we'll have to find out <laughs> probably it would fall out more easily yeah, I think if you're somebody who wanted the Birkin 25, but then you're a bit hesitant on the the, the the drop of the handle, this one might be better than Birkin 30. If you find Birkin 30 too big, it's kind of like an in-between. Mm. Too bad we can't try these things out, huh? Yeah, <laughs> It's always the case. You always have to find out the, the hard way. Mm. Okay, let me see what the audience is saying. So... 
I really DJ like it. here so I say I'm not a I'm not a Constance fan because of the H. So this is the only version I would consider the color would make or break it for me. Yep. Yeah. So full that full a uh, tonal kind of bag. Mm. You're okay for it. I think full pink uh, would be good. That's my yeah. Everybody's like full pink. Full pink. Any pink. <laughs> oh, Jen saying this uh, leather buckle would may wear uh poorly yeah that's what i was thinking as well but i'm thinking because it's hermes maybe they would have thought of that and they because that i have seen that on the seller on nikki it it wet like the metal underneath starts poking through and it kind of leaves like slits in the leather which looks quite bad but mm -hmm. i feel like if that happened with hermes it i don't know surely they would have thought of that i'm not sure though mm. Mm. is it confirmed that it's leather wrapped well, when you zoom in on it, it looks like it's the same texture as the, the bag. Because I was thinking that it could be, you know, like acetate or, you know, like some yeah. sort of plastic material that wouldn't scratch as crazily as leather would. Mm. It remains to be seen, I guess. But I yeah, guess I do yeah. agree. Like from close up, I can't it's remember. Like I just assumed, but I don't know if I read that it was leather. I, I think mm. Persbrock did an article on it. Mm. I can't remember. Yeah. Let us know if you know, guys. <laughs> it just looks like there's, I can see like on this brown one, there's a little bit of silver peeking through, but I don't know if that's the trick of the light. Right. But yeah. Um, uh yeah probably need to see how it would yeah we gotta see it in real life again <laughs> okay june saying i'm open to the tone on tone that looks like a sculpture and yeah, it makes it very a subtle bit. ej's on the fence about the shoulder birkin on one hand i like it on the hand i think i find the plume more useful yeah, I like the plume bag. It's a lot um, cheaper as well if you want to buy it pre-loved. But yeah, I like the plume for the zipper. But it's definitely a more low-key bag. But that silhouette is really trending at the moment, I think, the, the plume bag shape. Um, like this, I've got one here. <laughs> Just to show you. Where is it? It's cute. Shape. Yeah. Oh, man, I, need, I want to get I a plume. I love that size. It's cute. <laughs> yeah. But it, it's... I think it's a bag from the 1960s. They've done a whole lot of different sizes. They've even done more of a east-west shape, big sizes, mini size, um, and they re they're reissuing this size as well um, this year. So you might see it more on the website and that sort of thing as well. Wow. Okay. Everybody's not a well. Quite a few people are not a fan of the shoulder Birkin. Clara's not a fan. Julie's like, yeah, pass. Life and Lux the last it looks unfinished, so it's no oh. Julie again. They can keep their shoulder working. Oh <laughs> people are hating it. Like I what? thought it was actually quite cute, but I suppose yeah. I, you got yeah, as I said, these bags are expensive, so you have to love it if you're gonna buy yeah, it. Yeah, you have to really, really yeah. love it. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. More oh, yes. Okay, so <laughs> this bag. When I first saw it, I was like, ah, don't know, it's a bit multi pochetti But the more I look at it, the more I kind of like it. It's it's a Swift leather. I think I've only seen it in Swift, and it looks really pillowy and puffy. And I don't know, I just want to squish it. It looks um, it looks very usable as well. It's giving me like similar vibe to like a mini gypsy air, but then it has a little cute pocket, um, and I believe you can wear it in a number of ways as well, like belt bag, crossbody, shoulder mm. bag. Um, so it's a, obviously a little bit more sporty than, like, you know, a Kelly Cellier or a mini Kelly or something. Like, you could probably style it as a clutch or something as well. So I think it's quite versatile, but, yeah, I don't mind it. I don't know if I would get it myself, but I quite like it. I think it's quite cute. <laughs> I actually really like this bag. I just hate the price. When I found out oh, about the price it? of this, it's like in USD, 9000 something. What? So, yeah. Okay. Anytime well, there's a Kelly buckle on anything, it's more expensive, guys. That's the yeah. reality of it. And 
like the thing is it looks too trendy for nine thousand something like if it was i don't know like if it was maybe mm, i don't know seven right even yeah. seven thousand usd is a lot but like if it was that price range i would be like okay i'd be game to try it out you know i know it's kind of trendy even if it even if it goes viral and it becomes very popular hard to get like it doesn't matter at this point you know the the price range does affect my decision on getting something or not um mm. so yeah although i i do think that it's a very practical bag it's probably gonna be more practical than your typical birkins and kelly's because you can wear it crossbody and um it looks like it's pretty easy access and the leather type that they use on this is very flexible so it should be fitting quite a bit of stuff yeah. um but yeah the price is too much i can't <laughs> way too much yeah way I too much and it's really expensive yeah i feel like the trend of multiple pouches it's kind of done like no yeah. not multiple pouches multiple like this dang like lv's done it everybody's done it prada's done it and yeah. now or man they're like really smart. late to the game okay yeah but I feel like it doesn't matter for Hermes because if you are a diehard Hermes fan and you have already have every bag under the sun, every size and color, you would want something new. So to them, they still have their market, I feel. And they don't really produce a ton of these, right? They don't mass produce them. So I think there's still a market for this, but it's just not going to be for those of us who are still early trying to get our first Birkins or first few bags. Uh, or if we're just into the classics. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. I wonder if it will pop up on the website or if this is just like an in-store only bag. Yeah. I feel like it would be an in-store only for, at this point. Yeah. I, I've only heard about this in, um, like I heard about this bag being offered um, kind of like early early february that was the only time i started hearing about it mm. Mm. yeah as, i wonder if sure. it would be like as hyped as like a mini cali or if it's really just not going to be i mean because the price is pretty expensive yeah but i think because it has that little little mini one with it that's what really jacked up the price yep yeah. they added another like wallet there price so yeah. maybe that so maybe the if the bag on its own it would be that seven thousand USD, yeah. but now you've got that little extra pouch. They're like, oh, a pouch. Usually our SLG sell for two to three thousand. Pop one there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. Everybody's like, um, okay. So Julie says the move is cute. Okay, <laughs> and Joe's like, no, 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 no. No, Clara. move away. No way. Chris, Chris likes it. Uh, Clara's like multi pochette. Yep. Hot pass for EJ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely Kelly Dance is better. Oh, way Dance. too expensive. Agree. Way too expensive. Mm. Um, You'd yeah. rather just buy another Birkin or something, I guess. Absolutely. Yeah. Not worth the price. It's a mini 2424. So, yeah, totally. Oh, not I would prefer Mini Twenty Four Twenty Four. What do you guys? Would you rather the Mini Twenty Four Twenty Four or this? I would Twenty Four Twenty Four as well. I like the yeah. Twenty Four Twenty Four. Same. Ooh, Twenty Four Twenty Four or this? I'd go with this. <laughs> because this Just has the it... iconic Kelly parts, it's probably more desirable yeah. in a way. Yeah, the, the I feel like this will go more viral. Cool, but it's than kind of this one kind of okay. This one kind of suits my lifestyle a little bit more spotty, like Kelly move. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, either one, I won't. I won't choose both. But <laughs> if I had to pick one, I'll go with this one. Who knows? It might grow on us, guys. We might be buying one next year. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki's like, I liked it until I heard the price. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Oh. Uh... Wow. Okay, let's move on. Thank you, everyone. Okay, hang on. Oh, uh, I saw this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's so this is supposed ahead. to be a super hot bag for Loewe at the moment. It's the mini flamenco purse. 
I think it's so adorable. Um, it looks like a little dumpling. Comes in these gorgeous colors as well. This green is stunning. Um, and then there's a slightly bigger size as well, which has a chain, which you can also wear on the shoulder. But I believe the mini one is selling really well at the moment. And the price point is, you know, not nowhere near the kelly move kind of price point still quite good so it's been doing quite well and i quite like you know it's a pouch you can probably fit quite a bit in there and it's kind of quite luxury again in a way not that much branding but they do feature that Loewe logo logo at the front so yeah thought it was quite nice mm. my first impression is like oh bottega <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's my first impression <laughs> But it's nice. Like obviously, it's a tried and true shape, and the leather looks very yummy. Louvre is known for its leather as well, so I could see why it's popular. I like it. I saw this uh, the larger size. I think the donut chain is beautiful. It is actually mm. really, really nice. If you see in store, it's so shiny. Yeah. It actually feels like little beads in your hand. So. I, I really love the bigger size. Um, the shape wise, the f is it the f is this a redesigned flamenco? Because there's another. I think they yeah, had an older version. Few, I think they've done a few adaptations, but now they've done right. these new ones that have the logo on it, and they've changed the mm. proportion a bit. Because I think before they would just like emboss like the anagram logo at the the top, but now they're doing right. more bags with the full on Loewe on it. I think they're just mm. trying to, in a way, um, just introduce more of that logo as opposed to the anagram. So a lot right. of them like have this logo instead. Yeah, I I, I like the uh, flamenco because it's it's super super easy to get in and out of, and the the one that's bigger a little bit is such a great size. Yeah, definitely looks like my Bottega bag because when I looked at it, I was, oh, kind of looks yeah, like my true. Bottega mini pouch. But the leather is be it's so so nice. Um, in terms of the pricing, I feel like it's a little steep. However, everything has gone up, so I, maybe I just need to readjust the brain a little bit. I know it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. But I, so I guess you know the five thousand one US uh, Aussie dollars. Um, maybe the chain will justify it a little bit because that one's that one's. The, ch the chain is really nice. But yeah, five, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, a I'm lot. not sure how much those chains cost individually. I'm guessing like six to $800 or something, probably. Maybe. I'll have to look yeah, it up, probably. actually. But yeah, it's a beautiful leather bag. So does everybody like it as well? Clara's like, okay, little baby's cute. The dumpling shape is very cute and practical. Joe's like, I don't mind this if I have spare change or is gifted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That'd so, be nice. <laughs> it's definitely trendy. Look, Eileen's daughter is trying to get her to get it. Um, the young ones love it. I think that it's it's um it's attractive in a very simple way. Like very you know, not loud, but yet it's you know it's low yeah. away. And I think it's a bit of a safer bag to buy because I don't think it's as trendy, like you could definitely wear it for many years because it's kind yeah. of subtle as well. And it's just a simple crossbody. So it's not something like, you know, some of the Gucci bags we just looked at, they were a little mm. bit more trendy, whereas I feel like this one is a bit safer in terms of, you know, style. It's not as uh, crazy or anything. Agree, agree. And uh, I'll Julia one more would thing. Take version more. One more thing I want to add uh, that I like this over the Bottega version is I like how they did the drawstrings very thick. Like the, the string part is quite thick. And I like how they did the, the loop thing mm. at the end. It's very nice. I really like that part. It mm. gives it the signature that yeah, you know, otherwise you would be like, oh, it's just another. Sorry. Even in the strap, they've done this interesting kind of notch yeah. detail. Yeah. It's quite cool. It's not just like a simple knot like the Bottega ones. Uh, and also like the strings on the Bottega is quite thin, I feel. So I like that this is kind of chunky. It gives it substance. Mm. Yeah. I like this. I, I, I would definitely want to check out this particular one in the store, see how it feels on the shoulders. But uh, yeah, good good choice. 
Oh, yes, Louis Vuitton, everyone's <laughs> favorite. Okay, so we've got this new pochette bag, pochette tirette. It's giving me like pochette accessories, but a little bit more modernized. It's got a bit of a slouch, which everyone's loving the slouchy bags lately. Has a bit of a lock, which I guess is giving it that slouch down the middle. Um, only thing that I was a bit disappointed with this bag is that it looks like the strap can't detach. So I think it would have mm. been good if they did the detachable strap. Um, the price is a bit expensive, but I mean, for Louis Vuitton bags, that's what you're getting these days. Um, and then the side trunk PM, I noticed on the most recent runway show, they were doing a lot of side trunks again, and it's really a bag that they're kind of pushing. Um, so I know that they did the side trunk MM, which was a bit more slouchy. I think the first season they released it, and now they're, They've got this, um, they've got like a mini one and then they have the in-between, which is the PM. And I thought it's actually quite cute. Um, it sits really well as a crossbody. It's not too big, uh, but it's also not too small. Um, and it can, yeah, as I said, it can be a nice crossbody, top handle, uh, comes in, you know, reverse, classic monogram, or you could go for like a leather or seasonal pattern. Um, yeah, I, I kind of think it's a cool bag. Like I, I don't have any monogram bags anymore myself, but... If I was looking to like add a cool new Louis Vuitton bag, I don't mind the side trunk PM myself. Um, although you know it's five thousand dollars as well. So <laughs> that <laughs> I know that's the problem. I really yeah. like the side trunk uh, myself. Mm. The original one was the one that I liked already. So the fact that they came out with more sizes means that it's doing very very well. And yeah, I, I like it. I really like it because it reminds me of the. Of their, uh, what should we call it? The, um, like a posh, not a petit mal or like a trunk yeah, pack? Yeah, yeah. But see, seems more usable than that. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I could imagine just wearing this all the time, like, you know, supermarket. Well, I know it sounds silly, but or just to the shops. Like, it's casual, <laughs> but it's cool kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And it looks quite durable. Although, I don't know if those corners would wear very well. Like, I don't know. Not sure. Yeah, the side trunk. I saw an, an unboxing um, from Mad. Is it Madeline? She's also in Australia. Is it Madeline? Is it Meredith? Meredith, sorry, Meredith. Yeah, yeah. Meredith. <laughs> okay, yeah. who's Madeline? She revealed the <laughs> I was like, site. Oh, I just find Madeline. Yeah, Meredith. So she maybe it's a while back, maybe a few weeks ago. She actually yes, got I the side trunk PM. Yes, like a little yeah, small I one. I watched her video. It looked really good in her video. Um, yeah, it looks really good. Sure. It's kind of like not too big. And because the PM's like a proper bag, right? Like a proper small bag. But the side trunk uh, PM, it's just a little smaller, but she fits so much in it. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's actually more, video it's larger you than you think. Yeah, because when I watched her video too, I was not aware that it fits so much because I thought, oh, why would you go for the PM when it's like or not much cheaper than the MM? May as well get the mm -hmm. MM. But the actual proportion, I think, does look better as a crossbody. So exactly. I see the, the reasoning behind why you would get that this PM size. But yeah, she did a really good review on it and you know, kind of made me think, oh, it actually looks like quite a usable bag. But, you know, it's yeah. not, not an entry-level price point really it's you know five thousand yeah. five hundred yeah must be all the hardware and maybe the heritage of this uh sort of like the inspirational heritage of this bag as for the pochette turret i i actually talked about this bag in one of my like kind of checking out bags and i i agree like if this strap was you know either detachable or adjustable it would be so much better but it's not yeah um I'm not sure about the lock. Like I like this, this kind of shape, like because it's just east-west triangle, uh, rectangular shape, a little slouch. It's very, very easy to use, and you know it's kind of classic because it's not um, it's not too squarish. It's kind of flat. So most luxury houses have a similar design, but the only thing that I'm not sure about is that lock. Kind of kind of looks unnecessary. Yeah, but I, I don't you know. Mean? I wonder if you Whatever. could take it off and like add something else, like a bag charm or something. 
Like, yeah, I, wonder if I don't know if they can take. I'm sure they'll. I'm sure they'll give you a key to remove it, because yeah. it looks like it's weighing down the bag. It does look and... quite kind of random if you think about it. Like, why would there be a lock there? Yes, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> but that that might help it with the slouch, though. Yeah, but I don't know. True. Why? Why is it gonna lock anything though? Yeah, I don't no, know. No, probably not. Yeah. I feel like these days all the little charms and whatever is just for decorations, right? Even yeah. the all the little clochettes that we get for any of our bags, I never use them. It weighs yeah. down the bag. Yeah. I sometimes oh. use them, it sometimes I just leave it at home. Like yeah. it's kind of take yeah. it a lot extra weight. Okay, yeah. so oh Joe likes the side trunk in demolitions. Oh, delicious. Ooh. Yeah, that's really nice. And then um, yep, Clara saying the detachable strap uh is as good. Um if you can okay, can change it out if it goes bad. And you think that it looks like a mini oh. Lindy. EJ's like love the side trunk, but it's too expensive, so no buy. Same, yeah. And then Joe's like, I prefer the side trunk to the Loewe. Hmm. Okay, okay. <laughs> Clara, put a lock and I can charge you more. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Sort of like Hermes putting the extra little pouch there and like, yeah. here, 2,000 more. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, good point. Can I not want that little pouch? Oh, here we go. The row. So I've been seeing this bag pop up a lot on my social media and a lot of people are unboxing it to my surprise because I heard like hardly anyone talking about the row before like the last few months. Um, only a few channels like who had that specific kind of style, but now it seems like it's going more into like the mainstream trends. So the Margot, mm -hmm. it's been seen on a lot of celebrities. It's very, you know, if you know, you know, weirdly Prada just released a bag that's very similar. So it's a, also, uh, I find a lot of other designers are adopting this similar silhouette as well. Um, it comes in these, like, really luxurious leathers. I think you can get suede. You can get, like, saddle leather or something. Um, I personally haven't seen a Margot bag in real life, so I don't know what the quality is like. But, um, you know, it's also not cheap. It's almost, you know, it's up there with Hermes pricing. But, um, yeah, it's very desirable, apparently, and it's – been selling out and everything so yeah um but people who buy it usually said they really love it so i don't know again it might be one of those bags that really grows on you uh for me it reminds me a little bit of hermes bolide which i have a yeah. few of, so i'm like i see no point for to add it personally because i'm like more into hermes so it doesn't make sense for me to like spend this money on a bag from the row when i don't have that connection to the brand like i'd don't wear the ready to wear or anything, even though, I mean, maybe one day, but I'm not really dedicated to it in that way. But yeah, it's become a really trending bag on social media. So I thought, what do you guys think? Is it something you would buy or what? I'll say what I like about it first. So what I like about this, as opposed to the Boli that you just mentioned, the similarity, I like that this is completely open top. So yeah. It feels more of a lifestyle bag to me. The Bolita is still a little bit more prim and proper. Yeah. Right? In that regard. Um, and I, I I guess I would like the leather. I've never actually seen or felt uh, any bags from the row. So that has that remains for me to kind of judge in person. Um, and the minimalist look. So I could see the appeal. I feel like the appeal is similar to the, the other brand that we covered recently. Um, what's More her name? Piano? No. Oh, uh, uh, Phoebe Philo. Yes, Phoebe oh. Philo. Like, yes. I feel like her, yeah, yeah. her stuff is also all sold out, right? Immediately. Her first launch was super successful. Yeah. And then she re-released uh, the, the same items a second time. And they're yeah. still selling out a lot. So I feel like the people that know will know. So it's kind of like if you know the brand or if you love the brand, you love the aesthetic, you want something very minimal. Um, I would see why they're, that would appeal to you, right? And that it would sell out that for that way. I don't know how many they would produce of those, right? 
since、mm. yeah, because the price point is quite high. So you have to have that level of love that like just want something different from everybody and quite minimal. And you only well, appreciate what's it. What's the price? What's the price? I'm dying to know. What's the price? Well, let me just do a quick Google search.、Uh, While you do that, can I just say we have a tough audience? <laughs> <Yeah> . We're <laughs> like, we're like, come on, people! We're showing you hot back trends, and everybody's like, EJ's like hot pass. The colors, <laughs> yeah, no way. And then Julie's like, no, no big L is not the next Birkin. <laughs> And then Joe's like, I used to like it. Now I see it all over. I'm over it. <laughs> really, you see it all over. I'm in a heart. And then look at that.、It. Look at that. Look at the corners. It's all curled up. And then here's another one. Live and Lux Deluxe. It looks like a doctor bag, and un- unless it's a large size. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm not. I don't like this bag at all. I'd be offended if you think it's a new Birkin. <laughs> there's, one that, there's one that's like forty three centimeters. That one's fifteen thousand five hundred and thirty seven dollars. Really big. Sorry, wait. I think is that something Australian? Here, say that again. Yeah.、Oh, yeah. So,、wow. yeah. So there's a east. There's a new east west one. It's a bit more elongated. So it's more of a travel bag size, forty five centimeters. That one is fifteen thousand five hundred and thirty seven dollars. Australian dollars. Australian. Okay. Wow. What about this Margo? What about this Margo Seventeen? So the Margo Seventeen is ten thousand five hundred and twenty-nine. I'd rather buy the. I'm sorry. I'd rather buy the move bag. <laughs> Yes,、yeah, same. <laughs> EJ's like most times I can fit a small child in them. <laughs> Yeah, no zippers to contend either. It just fits right in. I think. I think actually, though, because on the on the Australian websites, it's like ten thousand. But if you check out in USD, yeah, I saw it was like five thousand. So maybe it depends、mm. on what country you're in. But I don't know if they add tax and all that as well. Yeah, yeah. tax. Because in the states, they add a little tax, and so it'd be about seven plus. It's about、yeah. like the look is just not it. What even if it's an affordable price. <laughs> yeah, it's not affordable. <laughs> wow, that's yeah, crazy. I know. Okay, so US would be cheaper. So okay, that's true. EJ is saying like the US would be cheaper because the bro is、yeah. a US brand. But we can see that nope, <laughs> nope. Everybody's like no.、Nope. <laughs> Sorry, we don't. Who's this? Is this Tamara? Yeah, yeah. She's got、All、the、right. big one. Okay. Sorry, Tamara. But、Can't、you know, guys, it might, it might just take time. Next year, we'll all be loving these bags. You just you got to. No, I'm sorry, no, not at seven, <laughs> not at fifteen thousand dollars. Sorry, no. Oh my gosh! Oh my yeah, gosh. not at this hot crew. <laughs> okay, I think this is your last one, right?、Uh, yeah, yes, my last、That's、one.、Right. <laughs> Okay, so I know that the、um, Chanel Mini Twenty Two bag has been super popular.、Um, I know Jenny from Blackpink was seen with the leather variations usually, but with their newer seasonal collections, they've got this denim one. I know that denim Chanel bags are usually very popular. I know they've been popular the last few years. Price is pretty crazy, but. That's Chanel,、um, and then there's the like, what is it, patchwork kind of daisy print one.、Uh, again, quite expensive.、Um, and then you have the、uh, kind of mini Kelly、um, Chanel bag in the. This is a quite a small size. It's in the tweed variation,、uh, giving me like Barbie core vibes.、Uh, very cute、uh, for me. They're really expensive in their fabric bag, so. I personally wouldn't buy them because I know they're a bit more delicate,、um, but I can see these being like, you know, very popular seasonal pieces to collect.、Um, but yeah, let me know. Would you would you guys buy one of these bags? Because、um, yeah, as I said, like the, especially that like little mini Kelly has been very popular or mini Kelly. I, I don't know what they call it,、um, and the denim. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Well, I already have the twenty-two bag in the, both the mini and the small. Yeah. So I don't need、uh, the other variations. Although I wouldn't mind. That, that's the thing, though. The 
the Mini 22 is really, 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 really practical. It's one of those bags that you can hate all you want, but once you start using it, it's so good. It's so travel friendly. I just squished it in my carry-on on my way coming home from Hawaii. It's totally fine because it's soft leather. So I would be open to buying a different color, maybe a lighter color. And then that dang Kelly bag, I'm still on the hunt for one. It's impossible to get one in Vancouver. Oh. So I would totally buy any of them at this point. But you know what? Like I, I'd still hold out for my preferred color. Like this one would be my like at the bottom of the list because this is yeah. pink and it's also uh tweed. If I were to buy a tweed, I would get the black and white just because it just goes more with everything I I wear. In saying that, I'm wearing a the pinkest jacket I have today. <laughs> but like, you know, that's not that's not something I wear every day, right? It's just like a really yeah. cool jacket that I own that's oversized. But usually I like anything black, white, um, yeah. those those kind of tones just suit me better. So yeah, I, I love these two bags from Chanel. They are totally rocking it. Yeah, they'll be popular for a long time for sure. Yeah. I, I mean the Chanel 22, I have the medium, so we have all the sizes already. Yeah. Medium, small, oh, and cool. mini. I have the medium, but uh, I'm not sure if I would spend this money on um, like this, this particular really denim and this multi-color yeah. one. It just, I mean, if I'm just, you know, I've got spare change lying around, not doing anything for me, and I'm into getting something that's multi-color, between the two Okay, if I'm gonna go fun, I'll go all the way, right? So maybe the multicolor one because it's mm. it's got a lot of interesting elements. It's got the CCs and uh, candy color, and then it's got the stitching, which is in quilt pattern, right? So it's not it's not random, right? It's still quilted, and mm. it's you no, know, it's fun. I think it's it's fun. It's just that. Whew, Eight thousand for a bag that looks like something that I could sew at home. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but again, um, I like the I like the um, idea behind it. Uh, of all, I would rather buy the Kelly Chanel Kelly because I think that silhouette is classic, right? And mm. um, tweed is additionally it's super classic. Yeah, um, pink may not be the color that I would go for but uh, they have many many colors maybe in the black and white tweed would be fantastic and comparing the prices I feel like that's more value like 6009 mm. um, and, yeah. it, it, and it will stay on trend for longer like even though it's saying like 2024 is gonna be hot but I think it among these that one would be like 2025 as well yeah could probably dress that one up a bit easier, I suppose, mm. the full top handle one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, let's see what everybody's saying. Oh, so that's a question. Why, Why is it called Kelly? Uh, I think just because it has a top handle, like it's that little retro shape. I don't think it's really called Kelly, but it is. it is said to be based on a vintage style, which is nicknamed the Party Kelly bag. So they've oh. brought that back from the 90s. Uh, but it's, I mean, and then, I mean, they've also, sometimes they call those like vintage Chanel top handle bags. They call them Chanel Kelly. But I mean, when you think of Kelly, you think of the Hermes, you know, 1950s, like top handle bag style. So I think they're just trying to come up with a name for it. But, you know, Chanel, they never, they, they're seasonal bags. They don't always have proper names for them. So yeah. I think it's called like mini shopping tote or something, right? Yeah, mini shopping bag. Yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> Joe, haha, you know that Chanel already took my money for the mini. <laughs> 22. Oh. Okay, let's see. What else is everybody saying? So they like it. Um, Clara says no for cloth bags, uh, coffee all over. Okay. <laughs> Same, actually. I think I I actually accidentally spilled coffee on my bag so many times, but it's always been like a dark leather or something that just washes off. So, yeah, fabric bag's a bit scary. I do have a her bag, but it's more of a tough canvas. So, mm -hmm. yeah. That's, that's, that's still okay. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. 
uh, EJ is interested in getting a tweet and black tweet. I can see. Yeah, black tweet. Yeah, safer. Definitely. Definitely yeah. much safer. Uh, oh, okay. So they call it the Nano. And there was an, I don't know. They just call their bags all random names. <laughs> I think we're the one who's calling it a Chanel Kelly. Yeah, I think the people like the community just makes up their own names. So. <laughs> yeah, I think it just depends where because in my store they just call it the shopping tote, like or the shopping bag, just like yeah. the yeah. website. But when I was in Hawaii and I was inquiring about this bag, all the essays, literally all of them were saying, oh, you mean the nano shopping bag or na nano shopping tote? And I'm just like, yeah, that one. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, the, you, see the, you see the picture, you know exactly which one. Um, yeah. Kelly is just online, I think. Yeah. Okay. Since we're on the Chanel, let's look at this question. This is my archives. For someone that doesn't have a mini Chanel bag, would you go for this Kelly or this, this, this shopper tote or a mini flap? Oh, great question. Mm. So would you buy this instead of uh, the regular mini flap? Ooh. Good, 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 good. Uh, me personally, I would get the mini flap, I think. <laughs> a bit mm. more. Yeah, I, I think the chain is probably better on the mini flap. It's like a thicker chain. This one looks like a bit of a, like a flimsy chain. This is this one looks like the walk chain, right? Thinner. Yeah, and then the hardware doesn't look. It looks a bit different as well. I don't know. I just think that usually the the minis are sometimes better quality than the those seasonal bags that they do. Yeah. Mm. I I personally feel it's okay to get either because. I feel like if you love your Chanel, you're going to end up getting a mini flap eventually anyway. Yeah. And yep. this one, why it why I feel it rivals the mini flap is because I feel like this one would retain its value just as well, just like the mini flap has done so well so, so far. Um, but if you're in terms of practicality, I feel like this one fits a little bit less, right? And especially mm -hmm. if you stuff all the way to the top you won't be able to close the flap so that's the only issue with this one if that's not an issue for you like you're just gonna use it as your you know nighttime you're just gonna bring a few things then you're fine with either style actually i feel like yeah. whichever one comes first just amy would you prefer cocoa handle or this bag like the i prefer this one yeah yeah, I, I've actually never even handled the regular size yet. I've never actually even had the chance to play with the regular size. I've seen the mini, like the tiny SLG size one in Hawaii. I tried that one on. That one you could fit like not even a card holder. You can fit individual cards, but like a card holder wouldn't even fit. So you literally have to find objects that are just tiny enough to slide in. So like your card key would fit in it, your lipstick would fit in it, individual cards and cash. But yeah, that one is really an SLG size, like a nano size. Yeah. Yeah. So this would be the perfect size since a lot of people have shown that this fits a regular phone, right? A regular phone, and then you can possibly fit two more SLGs and a lipstick. So you're good to go for a date night. It's mm. really good. Yeah. So I'm going to pull the comments, but uh, so Joe's saying first bag, if it's your first mini flap, get the classic first. Uh, um, EJ is sharing that it depends, right? If it's going to be your only bag, um, then mini flap. If not, get this and then get the mini flap when you're ready. Mm. kind of agree. Yeah, so. I suppose I mini flap is less rare in a way. Mm. And then let's see if anyone says anything else. Okay, so that's it. Okay, there's one more question. So let's take one more, then we'll go into your, your slides. Yeah, Amy? Does any... Okay, life and lux delights. Ooh. So do we think that the Chanel boy <laughs> bag and 19 are on the way out? Let's see, what do you think? <laughs> well... 
I yeah, I would say they're less talked about, but I still think if you wear one, you won't look totally out of fashion. Like they're definitely still relevant, and Chanel still sells them. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you think about when the boy bag was at its peak of popularity, it's probably not as popular as it used to be. But I think a lot of that has got to do with the prices now as well. It's gone up so much in price, which is probably making people want to go for like the classic flap or something a little bit newer than, you know, I, I, I hate to say it, but fashion is going so fast these days and mm. Chanel is releasing so many of these cool new styles and the 22 and, you know, this little Kelly bag, they're probably the hot, more hot bags at the moment. And so perhaps the 19 and the boy have kind of gone by the wayside a little bit, but that doesn't mean that they're not, uh, you know, you should just disregard them. They're still Chanel bags. So they'll still, obviously be very valued to a lot of people. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I wouldn't uh, buy it, uh, buy a bag necessarily because you think it's like the coolest bag ever because every bag uh, will kind of have its peak of popularity and then it will go out of fashion, it will come back and yeah. Mm. I don't know, but it, I guess if you could compare it to like the Gabrielle bag, which they've kind of phased out a little bit, they could go down the same trajectory. But I feel like the boy bag is a little bit, stronger in that a lot more people I, I can't imagine them discontinuing that bag whereas maybe the Chanel 19 is almost a little bit more trendy because a lot of other brands did that like pillow bag look but yeah I'm not sure I, I can't imagine them discontinuing the boy bag for some reason in my head but maybe the 19 they they may one day if they come out with like another new bag or whatever after the 22 but yeah I don't know what do you guys think uh, I agree with what you said earlier as well. Uh, I would say if you like, if you still like those two bag styles, buy it in the pre-love market right now is the best time to buy them. Because yeah. anybody who's no longer interested in keeping their ones, they can sell it at the price that they bought it at. And then you would still buy it at a discount because right now the retail on those, I mean, for Chanel 19, right? The retail is over eight, 9,000 for the small, medium size, right? So... Yeah, buy it pre-loved and you'll still get a great bag, but at a savings. Yeah. And since I, I own the, one, I know how practical it is. Like it's just one of those super easy bags. Yeah, and it's so comfy, right? Mm -hmm. I think for the boy bag, um, I don't see them discontinuing it. Maybe like the Gabrielle. They, they're still making it. They're popping out here and there. But the boy, why I say that is because it's kind of more unisex. Like I think guys like who love Chanel would still appreciate it because it's it's mm. really boxy. Yeah. Um, or or you just like that kind of silhouette. It's a little bit more, uh, you know, a little bit more um, masculine in a way, right? But and it's still it's still a very popular bag. But yeah, you're right. I think the price is probably making people choose differently. Because it's not to say it's an out of trend bag. It's it's just the square, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, but yeah. The, because when you look at the price, it's eight nine thousand dollars, and you go like, well, because you think it's trendy, you would rather buy something else, or something else comes and takes its place. But the bag on its own, I think it's it can stand the test of time. Similarly for the nineteen. Um, I guess the 19, like you said, you know, it's that slouchy look. But the slouchy look does come in and out, just like a squarish structured bag. Yeah. I don't see, yeah, I don't see them phasing it out. Uh, they, they Maybe they just don't make as much. Or they do make, it's just that we don't see it because we're just inundated with all these other bags popping out every day, every other season, you know, different colors, different designs, different... And then it, it just floods your social media that you think the other bags are not popular but they're still there yeah did it's you funny. guys watch the the recent runway show they had a lot of classic flap like so many mm -hmm. but it's funny that you say that you don't see it because i saw the so many people wear the chanel 19 when it was out and about shopping in Hawaii and Vancouver. A lot of people are wearing their Chanel 19. Oh, no, what I mean is I don't see it on social media. Ah, okay. In real life, you still see it. I still yeah, see Gabrielle yeah. everywhere. 
But in yeah. social media, because you just don't see it, you're more likely to be on social media and outside, right? So you'd be like, ooh, mm. I don't see it. It didn't come on anymore. Yeah, it's not like the hottest new bag anymore. It's kind yeah. of lost that yeah. uh, novelty. Mm. Okay, thank you, Jesse. Okay, so let's go through ours. I think Amy, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. I have a few yeah. slides, not too many. Um, so I decided to talk about the nano alma i feel like the, the alma is having a moment again because it came out in the nano size and it's super duper cute and from all the unboxing videos i've seen it still fits a lot it's called nano but it's really a mini bag it's just a little smaller than the bb right i also like the form factor it's you know the bb at, at the time right like when i used to own a baby a long time ago it was a great mini size bag because I guess at the time most bags are bigger so like BB size is like the smallest you can get but like these days when you don't need anything but your phone and your keys and you can be out the door this size is so perfect and I love that um I love that the strap on the nano is better than the BB this, these days on the BB they have like that thick strap I think mm. you can still get the thin strap as well, but a lot of them comes with the thick strap and I just am not into it. So I like that they kept it the regular leather strap and it's adjustable. So if you're a tall girl, you can um, adjust it. Um, so yeah, I feel like the Alma is having a, a, a moment, kind of like a rival moment, viral moment right now. What do you think? What do you think, Jesse? Oh, I just, I think the Nano Elmo is so adorable. Um, I saw Jerusha Katua um, unbox it and I thought, yeah. oh my God, that proportion is just so damn cute. But then I like asked myself, like, why, why do I love this so much more than like a regular Elmo BB? Like, is it that much different to, to like love it this much? Or do I just like it because it's a new kind of style? So I don't know because you know, Alma BB is pretty common. Like a lot of people have it, but just because it's in this little cute size, it just, I don't know. I'm just like, oh my gosh, that is, I love it. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I would rather get this or an Alma BB because Alma BB would be probably more practical in a way because of just fits a little bit more, but this size is really adorable. So I, I do like it. Um, and then the leather variation, it's it's actually rather expensive, uh, but I do see how it could be more versatile because it has those two strap options. You can probably dress it up more as well. Um, and that anything in that quilted leather is pretty expensive. I think there's more attention to detail and probably the hardware is fancier or something. I'm not too sure. But um, I think out of these two, I quite like the monogram. I don't know. It's just, just something about it is just adorable yeah what do you think yeah. Kat? I, I i like the elma i've always liked it and yeah. when i actually saw the elma this nano version in uh, at the airport and i was this close to buying oh. it it was in this really gorgeous apple green like really not apple like a light apple green i was like oh my god so cute but you're right it's the cute factor that yeah. gets you and yeah. oh, oh, personally okay if you don't carry a lot then actually it's more practical for you because if seriously you just carry let's say a card holder um your phone maybe some tissue it's more than sufficient because the bb size is is it's big oh, you yeah. can actually put things inside so the nano yeah. is like the mini version of it and yeah it, it actually fits more than what you think right because you think it's yeah. so tiny but the way the shape is like wider at the base narrow at the top you can actually put quite a lot of things quite a lot of things for a mini bag okay yeah um and the price point is it's more expensive okay so we don't want to talk about things being more expensive but from an entry level now yeah you know it's it's okay lah. it's okay lah. You, you won't you, you know it, it won't break the bank and you yeah. get something that's classic and it's still updated because mini bags, even though big bags are like everywhere now, but mini bags will never go away. So I, I like it. I, yeah, I like it and agree with you, Amy. The strap is, thank goodness they use this original <laughs> Boqueta strap and not yeah. that sporty strap because that sporty yeah. strap just doesn't do it. Doesn't do it for mm -hmm. me. 
Actually, a lot of people have complained about the Alma BB being too bulky. But I agree it fits more, obviously, because I had one. But I do remember whenever I wore it crossbody, which it mm. lets you wear crossbody because it has that super long strap, right? So that's the whole point of having a long strap so that you could wear a crossbody. But whenever I do wear a crossbody, it was very bulky. It kind of digs mm. in every time you take a step because it's just kind of small yeah. enough but still big enough to feel bulky about it so i think this is why the nano size could be quite popular because a lot of people that wants to wear theirs crossbody when they need to it won't feel bulky like that yeah it's yeah. less awkward on your hip i think the little nano size yeah yeah it does because it's hot base right so the the bb would feel a little chunky yeah. But yeah, I like this one also. Okay, yeah, let me like see it. what everybody says. <laughs> and case like Jess loves your bullet. Oh, of course. Oh, me too. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> Live and Lux Deluxe, another doctor bag. And Joe saying the Elma BB fits her really tiny umbrella, which I mm. think it would oh, fit. There you go. Mm. There you go. It does fit a lot. It fits, it fits. I okay, this one. Body. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, let me just take out the comments so that we can see the slide. All right, so I picked this bag. Not that, oh. not that I really saw a lot of it out in the real world. I saw it, but not like a lot. Although I think it's popular because of the price point, number one. And it was trendy for a little while. And I think if you're just outside of your own city, like if you just go out in the real world, like go out to the States and everywhere... It, actually a lot of people carry it um and i think it's also because of the the the, the brand stands for like a good message uh, i know personally someone who has bought it it's my essay shared to me that he bought it and i'm like oh that's kind of nice so it's one of those things i think it has a popular moment because maybe it's just kind of like trending right now the brand is trending and honestly mm. for this size bag for this price it's super good so i could see why it's popping up right now uh would i buy one no i don't need the size bag but i think uh it's a good alternative if you're looking for something casual super big has two different straps why not what do you guys think um i have two of these bags already so i can ah! share what like. <laughs> well, i'll just get what it side do you have i i don't remember seeing it okay. i don't remember you having one you bought one telfer I, I mean, I've mentioned that this logo looks like the old Ellen Delon, Ellen Delon <laughs> logo. <laughs> Which I don't know. I, I I don't know the Ellen Delon uh, brand at okay, all. Okay, so I got this one. It's kind of oh, my junk I love bag. the color. Okay, it's hang awesome. on. Let me just make you a little bigger. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. No, uh, that's yeah. not right. Sorry, excuse the bag charms, but I was wearing it as a gym bag for a while. Here yeah, totally. I've got my dust bags in there now. It's just like storage bag. That's um, a and then great I have, color. I have this mini one too. Oh, I love a good metallic. Oh yeah, my okay. gosh. So I actually cute. used so to have um, an Ugg collaboration one. It was like fluffy Ugg boot, but I sold it because I never wore it. But I still have two. Yeah. That's a, I really like, they're actually really practical. And yeah. um, you have to usually go on the website at the time that they're like launching the color. So I remember for the pink one, I had to stay up. I had to like set an alarm for like, <laughs> I don't know, sometime in the morning to get it. And yeah, same with the silver one. But I really like, I really like the silver one. I personally use this size way more um, because my gym shut down. So I don't really go to the gym anymore. I usually just work out at home. So I don't use this as much as I used to. But um, if you are like traveling as well, like I went for a day trip somewhere, um, this was really good. And this is the medium size. There's actually a bigger one as well, like a huge one. Wow. Yeah, I think my essay bought the huge one because he's super tall. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I've never seen these colors. They're so awesome. How's the quality, yeah. by the way? Because these um, are made of leather, right? It's fake leather. Yeah, it's like plastic. Oh, it's only but, fake leather? Okay. Yeah, it's fake leather. It's, it's just like you just wipe it down. It's It does soften up, though. When you first get it, it's quite stiff and then it softens up. But I just like them for the funky colors and just mm. for like using to chuck around. Like I don't baby them or anything. Like if I'm going like out 
like dancing with my friends i quite like this one it's like a bit of a party bag but I'm not scared to like spill anything on it and then as i said for like travel this is good but the only bad thing is like it's an open bag so your yeah. lipstick can fall out so i have to wear like a pouch inside mm. so this one's got like long straps so it's a crossbody and then this one is more of a you can wear this crossbody too but it's a bit bulky yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that would be a good travel size or yeah like it's size. really good for travel yeah just as long as you um have it like on you because as i said stuff can fall out so yeah. the only con about it, it doesn't have a zip i wish it had a zipper then it would be a lot more practical mm. nice oh. yeah. wow thanks for sharing okay let's yeah all good <laughs> let me put the slides back so, for okay. the love of bags i'm just gonna pull a couple comments she had she has the huge one i have the huge oh nice yeah yeah, I, I think that, okay, vegan leather. I didn't know it was vegan. But, like, that's the thing. I I think, yeah, these th these are just kind of, this brand is kind of, like, common in the not super luxury community, but it's yeah. super common, I think, uh, beyond that. Like, a lot of people mm -hmm. actually buy it, which is why I... I, th I think it's a it's a really good bag for travel if you you're traveling with like a Birkin and you get the huge size mm -hmm. you can put your Birkin inside. Oh, and it's like a nice an top. idea, yes. Yeah, because you know how people do that with like the uh like the Dior uh tote bag. What is it called? Like the shopper bag. It's a bit too fancy, I think. So I think the Telfer is nice because it's still like a cool brand, but you can put your other designer bags in there, kind of thing. That's what mm -hmm. I did when I went away I, I think i bought a designer bag on my holiday and i just put it in here when i was traveling yeah, yeah, and yeah. Just, like protected yeah. it yeah fun color so they do drops of colors is that right yeah yes or i think you can go into this system where you can uh, go on like a wait list for a color or something um or occasionally they'll do like a day where that you can just buy any color um but yeah usually they'll just like drop one color um mm, yeah nice. okay should check it out keeping Thank it you. fresh okay so definitely yeah this brand has been popping up everywhere okay oh. so the dior to toujours bag um yeah i feel like since it's since it came out i have seen a, quite a few people carry it and i like that this is something super different from everything else that they have because usually we think dior we think lady dior we think the saddlebag um so this i i feel like it's still quite trendy at the moment a lot of people are interested in it it has somewhat of a high price point but if you think about it it's all leather it's dior and this particular design especially it's more of a lifestyle bag so it's something that you know you can get a lot of wear out of it um so yeah what do you guys think it I'll looks just pretty go. usable i think it's a bit more uh casual compared to like you know lady dior or mm -hmm. something and it does feed into that trend of like bigger bags slouchier day-to-day -day bags um, when I first saw it, it kind of reminded me a little bit of like a Pico tin because of that like thing down the middle, mm. um, like the way it does that and the shape. Um, yeah, yeah, I think it looks super usable. I have seen a, a few people wear this in real life. I think it looks really classy. Um, and although it's like, I guess, a new bag, I still think it's a bag you could wear for many years. Like it's a pretty usable style. Um, I like it. Yeah, I don't, I've never bought a Dior bag before, so I'm not like obsessed with dior personally but i think it could be a really usable bag yeah i agree and uh, there was one unboxing so far that i have seen there probably are more but i think i saw mel in melbourne get this bag oh I, right am i dreaming this <laughs> I, don't, I don't know I, I think i missed it the unboxing <laughs> is it is it Maybe. i think it was her could that be she re could be yeah could be and then but in, in any case, I have seen like uh, many pictures of this. And I, I think I like the idea that the straps can be extended. But I'm, you know, I like it already like this, like top handle, uh, carry bag. And I, um, the size is great for putting things. There's just a lot of shapes that you can do with this bag. 
My only thing is, would you use all the shapes? You know what I mean? Like you could put it in, mm. put it out, extend the straps. Great ideas, but I feel like I would usually use the bag in one, um, one uh, iteration. I, I wouldn't be yeah. playing around with it too much. At most, maybe the strap. But other than that, I think this is this bag is having a moment from Dior because Dior, most of their bags are quite structured, right? Yeah. They had the Bobby bag, which I'm not sure if it's still selling. Then they mm. had the uh, saddle, saddle, the Lady Dior, of course, all are quite stiff. So yeah. it's a nice touch. Even even their book yeah. tote is kind of like structured, right? So this is this is they, this is being very on trend, right? Supple, soft looking yeah. bags. They definitely needed a bag like this in their yes. collection. Yeah. Yes. They definitely needed to add something that everybody, oh, you know, it, it yeah. speaks to the other group. Yeah. <laughs> I actually do find the price very attractive, though, because if this mm. is the current price, which you pulled out the price in Singapore dollars, honestly, it's cheap. <laughs> it's yeah, cheap it's compared to so Lady many Dior. things we've seen so far. Yeah. The Lady Dior itself, even the mini size that I own is like seven something yeah. here. I think it's crazy expensive. And so for this, when I see this, I'm like, oh, value. And I, like I said, it's a practical bag. It's a lifestyle bag. So don't, you know, don't expect to keep this in pristine condition type of thing. If you're going to buy one of these, uh, it's mm. really just to be used. And yeah, the price, the price point so far is still very, very attractive. Yeah, so I could see actually, why. Actually, it's brought up a good point about the price because this is five thousand eight. But remember earlier on, Jesse, we saw your slides and you pulled out the Loewe flamenco big one. That's already five thousand one. So True. Loewe five thousand one yeah. and Dior five thousand eight. Hello. Yeah, good point. <laughs> right. And, yeah. And, and yeah. then we got the LD wax at that. Five thousand. There was another bag, five thousand something at the top there. The Gucci was really expensive as well. Five thousand. Yep. Yeah. Gucci, Gucci Jackie was, was five really seven. Really expensive. Yeah, you're yeah, right. And then pricing is so confusing these days. <laughs> so maybe it's time to go and grab some Dior bags before they realize they're like, oh wait, yeah. everybody's higher than us. Which is what happened to them last time, right? Because they were the slowest to increase the price. And then suddenly, their lady Yor just went up, pop, 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 pop. <laughs> like everyone's no. like, what's going on? Yeah, yeah you, I, I, maybe because it's a newer bag, they, they weren't confident it would sell. So maybe they just made it a really reasonable price. I'm not too sure. Who knows? But yeah, it mm. doesn't. Uh, the price is quite good for the size. Yeah. And considering it looks like it's all leather and everything as well. You should go and check it out. <laughs> Jacqueline is here. Yes, Jacqueline seems like a good working bag. And Nat is um saying this looks like Dior's casual take on handbags and isn't too ladylike. I don't mind it, but I need to be hands free. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Maybe I don't know if it would look as cute, but if it had like longer shoulder straps, but then I don't think it would look as good because the, the little one shoulder straps look cuter. So yeah. Mm. Okay, let's go to the... I think this is your last one. I did pull it out, but let's take a look at it because mm -hmm. this is the larger one. Yeah, so like I said, um, referring to the first slide from Jesse, I also predicted that this bag would go pretty trendy and viral this year. Not like super viral, like the... I don't know. So Chanel 22, you know? maybe. Yeah, like viral. not like yeah. that. Not like the yeah. Kelly Chanel. Yeah. But whoever is you know really looking into something different and casual and bigger size and honestly at the price point that they are this being even less than the one previous 4490 for all leather all this supple leather um it's such a good one and the size especially this being the size up i feel like it's a very practical size again it's your everyday kind of bag you throw it around. Don't expect it to look pristine because you can just baby. You don't have to baby it. You use it, and yeah, it's a lifestyle bag. 
And honestly speaking, for the logo, like you were speaking about the logo, right? I don't mind the logo, but for such a plain bag, the logo looks so good on it. It actually needs mm. the logo in my yeah, it opinion. It needs something. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I like it. I think it just looks very usable. And it, it's in the name. Like you can wear it just to the bar or like with your friends to dinner. Or you could wear it, you know, day to, like it just looks very usable. It's not really yeah, an evening it, bag or anything, but it's, it's a more... happy hour bag, remember? It's happy, happy hour. hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. What does everybody say? Okay, um, NK says that I prefer the row for this look. Oh, hey, yeah. but you all don't like the row. Just now when we showed the row, my... <laughs> <laughs> what does everyone like? No, 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 row. The thing is with this logo plaque thing, you can just hide it inside. No one will see it too if you really don't like I mean, obviously, if you don't like the brand, don't buy it. But the brand is quite, I don't know, the logo for this size bag is honestly not too big. It really isn't. I told you. And you can reverse it and wear it the other way too. Don't forget that. I, I love, I love this bag. I, I like this hobo, this whole hobo thing. Hobo, hobo and me, I love. But I didn't know I they had the big one because I, they, I think the sign I saw is the medium. So this is new. This big one's new. Yeah. I've got one hobo bag. This is my MS trim bag. Mm. But this is a vintage bag. Wow. Ooh. Cute. So it like does up at the front, like here. It has zipper too, right? Yeah. So it's, um, this one's from the year 2000, but I feel like it kind of, like it has a similar thing to the like the Gucci yeah. Jackie bag. Yeah. And, um, yeah. This is like I actually like moment. this better because it has the zip. I don't remember the jacket. Yeah, this one's got a zip. So it just does up like that. And it's got a zip, this one. Yeah. Yeah. That's a hobo. Ooh. Good it, find. Yeah. yeah, the Hermes trim, it has a lot of history as well. It actually came out before the Gucci Jackie. Um, but it's a style, I think they reissued it in like a mini size in recent years, but, um, you know, in the recent runway shows, they've been doing hobo bags, but not this particular one. Like they've been doing yeah. other ones with like a pocket and yeah, I definitely see the trend coming back, but if you want to get a hobo, you can definitely go for like, you know, second hand. there's heaps of styles from other brands, uh, that kind of play into that trend. Um, yeah, yeah this one's pretty subtle. It just has like a bit of like a detail in the front there. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Yeah. Gorgeous. I love how you have all these little treasures. treasures I just love hunting for things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like we talk about something, and oh, you pull up something else. I'm like, ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> nice. You should do a you should do a comparison, like a like a oh yeah, all your bags like Hermes and something Hermes and something. <laughs> I know, because I guess there's a lot of a crossover, like a lot of brands that do similar silhouettes or you yeah. can't, was inspired, like they're, everyone's inspired by each other, so. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's hard to reinvent the wheel, honestly, because if a bag style or shape works, then every brand's going to want to make their own version, which makes sense because you're going to have the loyal customers from each brand. Some mm -hmm. people might buy from every brand, but some people only buy from their own, from their favorite brands only. Exactly. And like if you're so, a big fan of Celeron, I think you'd yeah. probably prefer to get this over like that Hermes trim bag because you True. like the that Celeron look. bag. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking of the name, Le Saint Cassette, so for those who don't know, if you look at the calendar, we'll repost it, right? I will dedicate as a whole episode. <laughs> and we're gonna have a lot of fun talking about the right way to pronounce French French names or French words. That's next week, isn't it? Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, no it's the following, right? I don't yeah. think it's the next week. It's the following week. So if you guys want to join live and you want to know how things are pronounced properly, as long as it's in French, I can tell you. So <laughs> I, I think it'll be pretty funny. <laughs> that'll okay. be really interesting. Yeah, that'll be fun. Okay, Jacqueline's got a question for us. Uh, ladies, I just joined the chat. Hello. Uh, but you've been seeing how high prices is for the YSL. YSL, oh. I care. Rafia oh, the Rafia one. I don't yeah. know how much. I have to look it up. Let me look it up. It's 9,000 USD. <laughs> Jeez. That looks like a potato sack, that bag. 
the raffia one. <laughs> <laughs> That's really expensive for raffia. Oh, jeez. But it's a the eye care is super big though. It's so big. Yeah, it's but it's like comically big. Oh wow! It, it covers my yeah. whole like where I wear it when I wear it on my shoulder. It covers my whole like bum all the way to the thigh. Yeah, it's huge, and the logo on it is massive as well. Yes, <laughs> talk about logo. Yeah, Crazy that one's logo. huge. Oh, wow! I'm not, what just... do you guys think? Do you like the Icar bag? When it first came out, I thought it was cool, but it's not. Uh, I don't know. It's not my favorite. I, I and the price oh, is nine, sorry, nine thousand for the Deville and five thousand three hundred for ra the Raffia. Uh, Check the Raffia, nah. but still, that's a lot. Still, it's a lot. Yeah, Deville. I don't know. The Deville always didn't look like that expensive to me. I think because it just like looks like a beach bag. So yeah, I, I well, that's really that. expensive for a Deville, though. Nine thousand towards people like me but if you're super rich then it'd just be a really fancy beach bag basically wow, Nine thousand that's crazy okay two more slides and that's my picks so i think i'll ask amy first because you uh, uh, jesse has seen this but my pick for 2024 hot bag <laughs> is this oh. Oh. <laughs> it is the balenciaga rodeo bag so i have to admit the first time i saw it i was like oh what no crazy and i obviously saw the one where they they dangled like a billion charms on it and charged fifteen thousand singapore dollars right it's ridiculous having said wow. that it's sold out it's okay it's sold out these bags are also sold out now I changed my mind after watching a couple of reviews of it. So some some people got hand got their hands on the bag, and then I saw the the vision. So I was like, ah, oh, okay. So I get it. I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to make a mix of the Kelly and the Peekaboo, and they're going on the on trend, supple, soft leather bags. I mean, take away Kim Kardashian, she's not important in this, but it's the whole vision of the bag that they fixed okay fix what was wrong with the kelly so the kelly for one thing is that you doesn't have a back pocket so i should have put a picture here but it has a back pocket two back pockets the second thing about the kelly is you cannot carry the bag open like it's not good for the bag so you have to most of the times you've got to close it but this bag is actually closed but opened because it's like the peekaboo. It's kind of open and part of oh. it is closed. And yep. when it's closed, it's actually keeping structure. The, the structure of the bag is still, if I turn it to the cinematic, you know, no, sorry. So I turn the photo, uh, If like the side profile, the back is still aligned. But then you've got this front flap opening, which makes it look like it's open, but it's actually closed. Oh. And gives you the whole yeah. So there's a double locking mechanism. There's a double here. double thing happening. Yeah. Oh, so you can actually so turn it and close the front part, but you don't have to. So you can keep oh. your things like sort of give it that really slouchy vibe without like damaging the integrity of the bag because you have the bag open. Yeah. Okay. Can you still put stuff in the front pockety bit, or would it just you be could. awkward? Yeah. No, you can. Oh, so it's like a oh, okay. So then yeah. you've got, you can access the stuff in the front. You've got back pockets as well. Then obviously you want to close the back entirely. You can, but you get that whole look. So I, I think they did a good job reinventing the couple of bags. Um, and they, I feel like they priced it pretty well because it's full leather. Um, a friend of mine has the bag and she says that the leather is absolutely gorgeous. They come in this three sizes, so small. I think Kim is carrying the large, and then the middle one is uh, the medium. So, yeah, sold out. You can't even get it anymore. So, I mean, obviously, it'll come <laughs> really? back. Really? It's sold out? Oh. Yeah. Whoa. That's so, the, crazy. the middle one is medium? Uh, the middle one is medium. Oh, they don't look that 
I thought they were the same size. So the one f- that Kim's carrying must be really, really big. Mm. It's large. Yeah. yeah, it's large. How small is the small? Is it a lot smaller? The small is like a Kelly 25. Oh, so it's a lot smaller. Oh, okay, wow. so medium, medium is probably like the best size for us. Yeah, so, you know, what? you know, we haven't talked about Balenciaga for a while. I know. All the controversy. <laughs> but you know, the world of fashion, they 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 are at hyper speed, right? Lightning speed. Probably they, they sort of just, you know, <laughs> moving along. And then um, they even said that the, I think the new theme or at least the inspiration or saying, lah, they say uh, it's more quiet. <laughs> they're trying to repair them they're trying to repair themselves but anyway let's see what everybody well, okay what do you think about it jesse okay then... okay okay so i okay first of all if we disregard the brand because i know there's a lot of controversy a lot of people are so angry at it so disregarding <laughs> the brand i'm strictly looking at the the bag design And Mm -hmm. hearing about the pack pocket and the fact that it's designed to be open, like worn open like this, which, oh my goodness, it's super cool. I also Mm -hmm. love that the that strap is really like a softer strap where you can wear it on your shoulder too, and it's it's gonna look so cool the way it drops, but you can still close it. So if you disregard the brand, I actually love the bag. I'm sorry, Mm -hmm. but I love it yeah I, like i really just love it like it you know it gives me um it's not it's not the 22 it's but it has kind of that vibe kind of that slouchy slightly bigger size a lifestyle bag right kind of on the bigger uh you can fit everything supple leather and I'm really attracted at the price. Honestly, I'm shocked at the price. If the middle one is a medium, that's big enough for me. Plenty big at 5,550. 5, that's a really look good Look at the price, price at the small, right? 4,000. Look at the Dior. Just the, look at the Loewe at 5,001. Like dinky little flamenco. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go for the small for this design because I like how it slouches and I like how like, you could wear it kind of big, has that cool factor and open. So I would go for the medium for sure. For sure. Yeah. I yeah. like it. I really do. And now I want to check it out. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Jess? What do you think? Well, I think for Balenciaga, they always reference other brands and then they do their own take on it, like those platform Crocs or they'll do sketches or on their most recent runway, they had like eBay merch and they just always do like something ironic or something like a bit of a joke with they're referencing another brand. So in this case, they're referencing Hermes and they're kind of feeding into that trashed Kelly look in a way you know, if you saw Mary Kate with the trash Birkin, sorry, the trash Kelly, I think Mm -hmm. that's the trend that they're going for, particularly when they put all those charms on it. It's very Jane Birkin vibe. So for me, it's, it's yeah i i get it it's being rebellious it's kind of like a bit of a you nod to what's happening in fashion but i'm not sucked into it personally <laughs> because of the idea behind it and i guess balenciaga as a brand as well it's a bit ruined for me still a bit ruined from the campaign um so it's it's not something i would invest into myself but that being said i i i know i keep talking about my own bags but i already have a kelly 32 <laughs> in black so it's <laughs> To me, it's, I already got the bag anyway. It's like, I guess, it's not the same slouch, but I put all the charms on it. It's got the same vibe. Um, and this is Cellier, so it doesn't have mm. the same slouchy vibe. It doesn't have that double pocket effect that they've implemented into the bag that gives it that super slouch vibe. Um, and again, I mean, you have definitely for the price i mean a six thousand it's much better than an hermes bag but you can still get a pre-loved kelly sometimes for 10k 9k particularly a a retourne slouchy one Mm -hmm. i would personally go for that vintage kelly for 100 over this this is well one i don't like balenciaga 
in modern day as a brand, I think they're sick in the head. And two, I think for investment wise in your collection, it's better to go for Hermes. So that's my reasoning behind it. Yep. They're gonna they're trying really, really hard to um I don't actually no, you know, let me take it. I don't know if they're trying really hard to take like repair their brand name, but I agree to this point that for the love of bags, had to come out with a special bag to make everyone forget about their last campaign. And it'll take a while. I think it'll take a while for, for most people to, at least most people on the social media and fashion sense will take a while because we are aware of it. But most people who are not aware of it would not even know. And no, from that so, yeah. aspect, it's it's a de- it's a good bag for the current trend, right? Current that's yeah. slouchy and just... You know, and they just, uh, whatever, like, you know, these fashions do whatever, they do whatever they do, right? And they don't get slapped for it. I mean, like, yeah. look at look at that brand. Uh, there's another brand, um, Dolce & Gabbana. Yeah. They were cancelled for a while. Yeah, they were quite racist and they got cancelled as well. Um, but I then think they're, they're they're still everybody's to it. I think they're still cancelled in China for sure. Uh, but in, uh, you know, Australia, it's probably you know, gone. I, I don't think they're that popular anymore anyway, as they used to be. True. Um, but I think, yeah, I think in terms of like the trends, I mean, not everyone's going to want to buy a secondhand bag. Um, so I guess that this bag would be appealing to people who, who love that slouch look. And it is cool that they've kind of done that double pocket thing. I think that is a bit more innovative, but mm. yeah, I won't buy it myself, but it's interesting. <laughs> Oh, that's a good point, Jacqueline. They had to price it low. They don't forget. Honestly, how they know it's still in business. It's going to be controversial. Like I, I, I think a lot. I mean, I've seen two, two, or three, well, two, two unboxings. One on the shorts, and it's a very different lens, right? Very different lens from whoever saw it. So, but for trend wise, I think this is. They've got something going on, but I agree. I don't know how. I don't know how. Like, how are people gonna like approach this? And how did they get Kim? I mean, I it's interesting Kim. you said that it's selling out. So obviously, people have moved on. So there you go. I think it depends because, and I'm gonna pull this comment too. I think Clara is saying it because a lot of people in. Asia don't really know about it. Like if you don't pay attention to social media mm. and you're just a regular like nine to five office lady or boy and you just go and shop once you're off work and you look, you just look at, you know, you just window shop every store and you see this bag, you might be attracted to it because it just looks very usable and practical. And you've yeah. never heard about all these controversies. Obviously, we yeah. know because we are in this space on YouTube where once <laughs> when someone when once it's known, everybody knows. So we are aware. A lot of people are aware, but a lot of people are also unaware. Absolutely. So yeah, I think I, I only became aware because we we were on a, a live and then somebody brought it up, right? And then it was like, oh, it was some yeah. campaign, some campaign. And but it was so short lived. Like, I mean, it's impactful, painfully, yeah. terribly impactful for them. But it was so short lived that I think a lot, like, a, a lot of people who are not regularly on, they're probably like, what happened? And, and because it doesn't, it just didn't know. Yeah. You know, um, Mel Purse on Fleek made a really good um, detailed video about the, um, the campaign. So, if um i mean if anyone wants to know more about it then a pretty interesting watch but um yeah i don't know i guess you're right i mean not everybody who buys bags is concerned about the relevancy of it or the relevancy of the brand or you know what has happened with the history of the brand or whatever that it's like the style and as a style it's it's definitely feeding into these like trends at the moment definitely okay I didn't know this. Asia had a different set of imagery during that campaign. Most brands have different creators for US. Oh, you, oh yeah, okay. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. We don't see the same things you guys see. So, 
Oh, interesting! Wow. Okay, controversial bag. I had to put it, but because it is, it is. Yeah, it is it going is a, its round right this it year. Is, um, it is selling, so it's interesting. It is selling. It. Like, yeah, whatever it is, right? The uh, like all the boycotts and all, it is selling. It's just yeah. wow. It's very and... interesting to to um witness, I suppose, how the public react, um, yeah. to these things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've only got. I think this is my last one. Let me just double check. Yes. Okay, so I picked this because, well, I think the whole long East West bag is is gonna be really trendy this year. So I also yeah. picked those Bir Birkin shoulder Birkins. But if you're not into the Ur Birkin game, and also also you can probably can't get it. Well, Prada has it. Like Prado has made one of this Toblerone bags, and I think it's I think it's cute, and for the price, three thousand nine hundred. I like it. I like. Yeah, the, I think it's cute. I think it's cute. Like you don't have to get the Birkin, and they come. And this one has a zip, so you don't have the border with the flap. It price also comes with a long strap. What do you I'm think? not sure about the long strap though. It looks a bit strange, but I like it as like a little shoulder bag or a top handle. Yes, yes. Yeah, I don't like it. Price is pretty good. Hmm. I, I think a lot of brands are going to do this kind of long bags now. Like you, you'll see it, I yeah. think, in the next year, right? And this year, with yeah. Hermes starting off coming back with their shoulder Birkin, I saw Prada come up with one. And then, okay, if you think, if you think this is like too short, they have a slightly uh, taller version, okay? Slightly taller. I feel yeah. like it doesn't, it still doesn't, it doesn't give me that Toblerone feel, but yeah. from a practical, still giving you the east west shape. Yep. And it has it that works. like crumply leather, like worn in mm -hmm. look. So the white mm -hmm. one looks kind of almost dirty in a way, but I think that's like, you know what I mean? Like it's almost like, yeah, like lived in. Kind of bad. Mm. It's not like super polished. Uh, like an yeah. aged, aged, aged look. Yeah, yeah. I, I personally like the white one a little bit more. I think the size is cuter. Yes, uh, but the black one might be good for like work or something. Yes. What do you think, Amy? So with this bag, similar to what I said about the East West Birkin, I could see be myself and it's a very instagram thing because it's not like i go around carrying my bag like this although i do it i actually do it for my for my mini 22 bag a lot i would get out of the car and i would literally be hugging like you see how my shoulders like i'm hugging my 22 and i'm like just like walking and then trying to get the door and everything so this would be something i would do kind of like 90 degrees and then the strap would go around like here and then i would wrap around like this so it's very Instagrammable, something that I would uh, do sometimes, uh, practically speaking. And yeah, I really, I, there's something about it. It's maybe the nostalgia, how like these shapes used to be the shape yeah. that I grew up seeing when yeah. I didn't have money to buy bags yet. So maybe it's that. Yeah, it's that's very early 2000s. Yeah. Yeah. Because obviously it doesn't look like a modern style. The shape is not, I mean, arguable. You could see it's it's that now this is be... modern. But like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like it's something that I've seen growing up. So that's why I'm mm. attracted to it. Mm. Yeah. Do you think because it's like so done now, like all the brands are doing it now, it's going to be so totally done in like a year? <laughs> Maybe. Thinking, it's possible. Like we're just going to be like obsessed and then we're just going to be like, what? This is just not. Nah. Like, similar to, like, the multi-pochette, we're just like, oh, I can't really do that anymore. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Depends on how much more it we're going to see. Be, it it could thought. be, like, one. It, it's like a cycle. Because I have yeah. seen this shape, like I said, you know, 15 years ago. It was, I, I, I had one, but obviously not branded. Like, some, I don't know, some local store made of vegan, like, plastic leather. Yeah. But, but then it's back again. It's back, yeah. this half halved back like what Jacqueline said half is like half yes yeah, which, yeah which is um you know there's it's it's trendy um there is some practicality to it but yeah so I think this one is this one is actually a little bit more practical I guess it's not so short 
But thank you. Okay, so we are, oh my gosh, we have been talking about bags for the past two hours. Let's <laughs> just do one last question, okay, for you. Let me just go back out here, Jesse, because I think I saw one question um, earlier, but we don't have time. So let's just pick this one. I think For the Love of Bags asked you this question because you are on a crazy low buy. Is it like low buy, low uh, buy yeah. this year? I'm trying to buy less bags because last year I was buying a bag like, almost every month. So this year I just <laughs> want to buy like one or two bags a year. We'll see, guys. So far I've only bought a birdie charm. So that's it. <laughs> wow. Which is good. <laughs> wow. So, Jess, well I done. Find it how, I mean, how, how, um, how are you, <laughs> like, <it's, laughs> I wasn't, I was going to say, how are you coping? <laughs> like, as if it's, it's like, <laughs> Yeah, I feel I feel the um it's like coming off like coffee or anything you're addicted to. Like you get a bit upset, you're like, oh uh, but then you yeah, I, I have been buying cheaper things. I'm not gonna mm. lie, I've still been shopping. I've been getting into like vases, thrifting, uh like I've been buying jelly cats. I don't know if you guys know what jelly cats are. Um like these little like jelly cats. squishies. Oh. <laughs> Just like little cute oh. things. Like if I really itchy to buy a bag, I'll just buy a jelly cat and I'll be okay. Um, and just like I've been collecting, yeah, like little um, trinkets, like this is a lipstick. Like, I've just been buying little things, but this is like stuff that's like 20 bucks, 30 bucks. And it just is carrying me over. So I don't spend like $6,000 randomly. Um, mm. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. And obviously I was gonna, I was thinking to make a video about it, what I've been doing instead. Um, yeah, just changing a few habits um, to break me out of it because you can, it can get addictive buying bags. So I definitely have an addiction to it. So it's not that I want to stop buying bags or I'm like leaving the luxury community here or anything, but I just want to like enjoy what I have more. And also I don't want to like impulse buy as much as I was because like it's very expensive and, you know, to sell your to then sell my bags i often lose money these days because i uh, you know yeah it's just the way it is so i'm trying to slow down a bit um it's not easy no but i think mm. it, if you're a shopaholic like me uh you know you don't have to go cold turkey don't buy anything you can still buy small things you know i don't know start baking like do something buy some <laughs> like getting into buying bouquets of flowers incense like just smelling fresh just you know, little things romanticize your life more so you're not so down in the dumps about it i know it sounds crazy like it is a bit crazy but yeah it's, i mean i think we normalize buying these really expensive bags but it it's yeah it can take over sometimes so it's something i think you know sometimes people say you should go see a therapist you should get help um <laughs> I have, I actually have seen a therapist before. It didn't help me. About but this? Yeah, with my shopping. Uh, but mm -hmm. I think sometimes you have to find the right therapist. Right. Uh, but so far, it's been okay, like um, this year. Yeah, I haven't bought any bags yet. So, yeah, I think I might make a video about how I've been dealing. But yeah, just buy little things instead of things that are thousands of dollars. Yeah. Well, why don't you join us again on another <laughs> live and we can talk about it. I think that will be okay. a topic that everybody is going to be like, let's listen to because <laughs> we always talk about low buys. Yeah. So why, why don't we do that? Yeah, we'll do another live with you and we'll have a chit chat about low buy 2024. <laughs> How are you guys? Are you guys doing low buy? Are you all buy? Bye, bye, bye. Not low buy at all. Like a chat. <laughs> but I do wonder for you though, um, since you have like to me, your collection is amazing. You have so many different styles, and then the styles that are your favorite, you have different colors and sizes. Don't you think that that helps you just have less impulse to buy? Or does yeah. it not matter actually? <laughs> No, I think you're right. I think like, I already have over 20 bags, so it's a bit easy for me to say, oh, I'm not buying any more bags. But I think when you become, you get sucked into luxury YouTube, um, you can, like, keep going. You can just keep going. Like, there's still mm. bags in my head where I'm like, I need to still buy that, like Birkin 25. I still need Mini Kelly, like, the critical collector's bags, which is ridiculous. So I think you can feel 
Yeah, I think for me it would, would be easier because I have so many bags. So it's different from someone who only has one bag. But mm. that is why I have to go and loan buy because I find that I still have these feelings of like it's never enough where it should be enough by now. So yeah. Fantastic. Okay, so thank you so much, Jesse, for sharing. We will definitely get you back to talk about the low buy. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll catch up with you on that. And then I won't buy too much until yeah. then. <laughs> yeah, don't buy too much. <laughs> Hang on till then we do the video. Then after that we can. <laughs> But yeah, thank you everyone for joining us for two hours. Next week, uh, we'll be on Amy's channel. So do look out for the calendar. And if you came in late, we are having, um, please watch the beginning because we're having the change in timing because of the daylight savings. But otherwise, yeah, thank you so much, Jesse, for spending your day with us. And thank thanks you for everyone as well. Yeah, we'd love to have you back again. All right, everyone. Thank you. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Thanks, guys. See you, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>